In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to rank your Squarespace website on page one of Google. This is the exact same process that I used to 100x this client's website traffic, which took them from five inbound leads per month to 50 to 60 inbound leads per week. It's also the formula that I've built into SEO Spaces SEO plugin for Squarespace, which is used by thousands of Squarespace users in order to rank higher on Google. And I'm gonna break this process down into five steps. And don't worry, it's not gonna be full of generic SEO advice that you see across the internet. This is the exact advice that I give to my community of thousands of Squarespace users that are looking to learn more about Squarespace SEO. So I understand exactly where you're coming from. Now, the first step to rank your Squarespace website on page one of Google is keyword research. You need to know the keywords that you want to rank on page one of Google for. In order to do this, I'm gonna break your web pages down into two different categories. First of all, we have your service or money pages, and then we have your blog pages. Now your service or money pages are essentially pages on your website that you want to rank for terms that your target customers search for when they're looking to buy or use your product or service. And what I'm gonna want you to do is for each product or service page on your website, I want you to get three main keywords. Then we have blog pages, and these are pages on your website that are going to rank for informational keywords. Are you keywords that people search when they're earlier on in the buyer journey? So they're not ready to buy right now, however, they may be in the future. And I'm gonna want you to find 12 to 24 blog post ideas. And this is gonna allow you to write one to two blog posts per month as a minimum. As an example, here's SEO Spaces website, and this is our Squarespace SEO plugin page. As I mentioned, on each money or service page, I want you to have three keywords. Our main one is Squarespace SEO plugin, but then we also have Squarespace SEO audit tool, as well as the Yoast for Squarespace. So this allows us to rank for our main keyword, as well as other keywords that our target customers are searching. And then we have our blog post. Now, as I've already mentioned, I want you to get 12 to 24 blog post ideas, which may seem like a lot, but if you're writing one to two per month, this is gonna last you the whole year, which if you're really serious about ranking on page one, those are the sort of timeframes that you need to think about if you want to rank for competitive keywords. Now, to find those keywords, all I want you to do is to jump on calls with your target customers. You can do this by offering them a Starbucks gift voucher in return for 15 minutes of their time. And when you're on the call, all I want you to do is ask two questions. First of all, what would you search to find my product or service? And second of all, what pains or challenges did you face before you came to look for my product or service? And this is going to give you all the information you need to get your keywords for your product or money pages, and then also your blog posts. And all you need in order to do this is have a Google Sheet, which allows you to separate your blog and money pages and then also use a tool called Keywords Everywhere. This might seem complicated, but all you have to do is take the phrases that your target customers told you in the interview and then search them into Google. For example, when I interviewed my target customers, they told me that they previously searched for Squarespace SEO plugin. Keywords Everywhere is gonna tell me how many people search for this per month on Google. And then it's also gonna give me related keywords to that, as well as what people also search for and finally, long tail keywords. And all we need to do is take those keywords, such as Squarespace SEO tips, and put them in a spreadsheet where we can separate the money or service pages and the blog keywords. So I'll just add in Squarespace SEO tips. I've already added in Squarespace SEO plugin, and all I need to do is to repeat that for every one of my service or money pages to find three keywords each and then until the point where I've got 12 to 24 blog post ideas that I can then write and post across my website over the course of a year. And that takes us very nicely onto step two, which is actually building your SEO strategy. Now you know the keywords that you want to rank for on your money or service pages, and then also on your blog posts. You now need to develop a clear strategy and follow a framework in order to make sure you go in the right direction on your efforts in order to rank on page one of Google. And this is really important because SEO can take time. 
And without having a framework or strategy that you can follow, you might lose momentum. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. And for this, you're going to follow something called the SEO Space Pyramid. And the SEO Space Pyramid is a framework that you can follow in order to boost your chances of ranking on page one of Google. And as I've already mentioned, we've separated your website into service or money pages and then blog posts. And this pyramid shows you exactly how to add them to your website. You have your money pages, which sit at the top of the pyramid. And then you have your keyword clusters, which are just groups of keywords that you add to your website in the form of blogs. As you add these to your website, you want to make sure you internally link to them. And then you want to make sure that you internally link back to your service or product page, which in the context of SEO space, again, this is our service or money page. And then all the blogs that we add to our website then internally link back to this service or money page, which makes it more likely that we're going to rank higher on Google and ultimately end up on page one. So now that you've already got your keywords for your service or money page, and then you also know what blogs you're going to write over the course of the year, you then just need to follow this framework when you add them to your website. Now you actually need to know how to optimize your website for those keywords. You're going to need an SEO checklist. An SEO checklist that tells you step by step how to rank higher up on Google and more importantly is specifically designed for Squarespace. And that's where SEO space comes in. As I already mentioned, SEO space completes a site-wide audit on your website and tells you step by step what you need to do to rank higher on Google. It gives you an SEO score, the top SEO issues that you need to fix, and then finally, individual scores for each web page, which when you click view scan here, you can see everything that you need to do on a page by page level in order to rank on page one of Google. What's even cooler, you can then add a keyword in order to get bespoke recommendations of what to do to rank your website higher up for keywords, which as you already know the keywords that you want to rank for, makes it so much easier in order to boost your Squarespace website higher up on search engines. Once it's done scanning, as you can see here, it's giving us those recommendations to rank higher on Google as well as telling us any images that don't have alt text, where we need to place our keywords, as well as interesting data around how many people search for that keyword per month, and many of the other key important ranking factors in order to rank higher on Google. What's more, if you're unsure about a specific area of Squarespace SEO, because this plugin has been designed specifically for Squarespace, all you need to do is hover over this, these eye icons, press watch tutorial, and you're gonna get a video from me explaining exactly how to fix that area of Squarespace SEO. So Squarespace SEO has never been easier, and because you can also use the plugin on the Squarespace editor and on draft or password protected website, you can even SEO space your website before it's even been launched to make sure you're ready for search engines, which takes us very nicely onto step four. So now as the months go on and you're writing your one to two blog posts per month, you need to make sure that these blog posts are worthy of ranking you on page one of Google. And that is step four, writing high quality blog posts which show you're an expert in your niche. And this is so important because an SEO score of 100 out of 100 isn't gonna rank you on page one for competitive keywords unless you show to users and to Google that you are the expert. And I know this because I studied 21,327 Squarespace websites to see what makes the top 10% of Squarespace websites. And from looking at those, I know that content, as well as the thing that I'm gonna show you into step five, are two of the most important things that go onto ranking on page one of Google. And what that means is when you're writing your 12 to 24 blog posts per year, which as I said, is the bare minimum, you need to make sure that these are worthy of ranking on page one of Google, which I know does sound easier said than done. However, it does really come down to just making sure that you're writing best piece of content on the internet for the search term that you want to rank for and the piece of content that matches the intent of why someone would be searching that keyword. Which if you're unsure what that means, essentially what you want is when people click on your blog post, you want them to think, ah, this is exactly what I've been looking for. And if you can make your content really easy to navigate, such as by adding contents and satisfy the user as soon as they land on your web page, then Google has ways to know this and will reward you by ranking you higher up on Google. Because if people land on your blog post and leave immediately, Google is gonna notice this and it will know if your content is quality or not. So make sure you take the time once you've got your keywords 
to research what already ranks on page one of Google and at least beat that in order to maximize your chances of ranking higher. Of course, you can use ChatGPT in order to give you blog outlines. However, the best content is always gonna be unique content that you've written using your expert knowledge. And of course, if you do really want to go above and beyond, find more than 12 to 24 blog post ideas. And now, finally, you have your keywords, you know the strategy you're going to follow, you know how to optimize your Squarespace pages for those keywords, and you know how to write content that ranks on page one. It's now time to throw gasoline on the fire, and that comes in the form of step five, which is getting backlinks. Now backlinks are links from other websites to yours. And what high quality backlinks do, they increase something called your domain authority. This is a score given to your website that deems how much of an authority you are in your space. The higher your domain authority, the more likely you are to rank for competitive keywords, which is why backlinks are so important. Now, because I've spoken to hundreds of Squarespace users one-on-one -on -one and gotten feedback from thousands more, I know that backlinks is one of the topics that most people struggle with. So in this fifth step, I'm gonna give you a strategy that absolutely anybody watching this video can go away after the video in order to start getting backlinks for the websites. And this can even work for new websites. And what this strategy is and what the fifth step is specifically is being the source being someone that is worthy of linking to. Now, looking back at when you went to school or college, you'll remember that you may have looked for sources on the internet in order to get statistics from, in order to link your work to. And this is no different in the business world. Business owners, journalists, writers, are constantly looking for unique statistics, unique perspective and valuable information in order to reference to in their content. And then of course, link to where they got that information from. So if you can be the person that writes interesting information with unique insight and get found on Google, over time, you're more than likely going to get links from other people that use your information in their content and reference back to you. And what's really cool when you put this information on your internet, as you share it across social media, as your SEO improves, as people come to your website, you're going to get more and more backlinks over time, making it a backlink magnet. Now, of course, you may be wondering how you can get something like this in your niche, and don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you an example. But essentially, the core premise of this is you need to make sure that the blog that you add on your website that has this unique insight or statistics in ranks for a long tail, low competitive keyword. Now, I have got a webinar on how to find what I call golden keywords, which are keywords that you have a really high chance of ranking for on Google in a webinar, and I'll link that as the first link in the description. But essentially, you want to rank for golden keywords, especially for new websites. And an example that I came up recently was one that I would probably do if I ran a bakery or any business in a similar industry. I found this keyword, how many calories in a chocolate donut with sprinkles. And as you can see, 110 people search for this per month. And Keywords Everywhere is telling us that this is a really low competition keyword. So if I was in this niche, what I would do is write a blog post on my internet that gives these details and is a better article than what is already ranking at the top of Google. And over time, I'm very, very confident that you will start getting backlinks as people refer to that information in their content when they're looking for some sort of source. Now, if you don't believe me here, this is the exact strategy that I've used in order to get myself featured in Forbes, as well as get clients featured in Yahoo Finance, Business Insider, and many other huge publications on the internet. Because one secret that journalists don't want you to know is that sometimes they are lazy. And if you can be the source that they find when they're looking for information, you will get backlinks on some incredible websites. Now, I know there's been a lot of information in this video, but I'm just going to run back through the five steps in order to rank your Squarespace website website on page one of Google. Now, the first one was keyword research. We split up your website into two different categories of pages. First, your blog pages, and then also your money or service pages. You find three keywords for your money or service pages each, and then also 12 to 24 blog post ideas. Once you have your keywords, you can then move on to step two, 
which is building your SEO strategy. And here you wanna use the SEO space pyramid, which is a framework that you can use to make sure you maximize your chances of ranking on page one of Google. Then once you know your keywords and the strategy you're going to follow, you need to know exactly how to optimize your web pages for those keywords, which was step three using SEO space to get step-by-step -step instructions of how to rank higher for your keywords. Then in step four, what we did was cover how when you're writing blog posts, whether it's one to two blog posts or more per month, we covered exactly how to write content that has a high chance of ranking on Google and shows that you're an expert to Google and also to users, which then led us onto the final step, which was step five, and that was getting backlinks by being the source that people want to link to. Now, of course, I know there was a lot of information in this video, so feel free to watch it back through. But of course, if you want to get more Squarespace SEO tips and learn how to rank on page one and get leads, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.